So today, um, what we're going to be talking about is the new SMART features. Um, my name is Meg Cott. I'm one of the educators here at Shortcuts. Um, some of the, the things that we're going to be talking about, we're going to do kind of a review of all of the SMART features, and then also I'll show you what's up and coming in the next um, couple weeks. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with SMART, SMART is actually an accumulation of um, all of our online services, and I'm going to go through each one of those just so that we can re-familiarize yourself with them. Um, SMART um, stands for Strategic Marketing and Reporting Technologies, so um, it's encompassing all of kind of those online services. Um, please make sure that your speakers are turned on. Um, they must be turned on to hear this webinar. Um, my microphone is on. Everyone else has been automatically muted. If you're having any technical difficulties, um, please use the chat box um, in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. If you have any questions or would like more information, um, we'd like you to visit our um, Facebook page at facebook.com slash shortcuts USA. Um, that way, any questions that you have can be shared with our um, Facebook community. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Shortcuts console um, and looking at some new console features. Um, we're going to be looking at the Book Me settings and along with some new Book Me settings, which I'm really excited about today. Um, looking at some Spotlight uh, settings as well, um, along with Scorecard. And then I'm not sure if you're familiar with the client information card. This is um, our newest um, baby to the online services, the smart package. Um, so I'm just going to do a nice little review of the client information card with you as well, just to familiarize yourself with it. And if you're not using it, it'll give you a nice introduction. So the Shortcuts console is located here at console.shortcutsoftware.com. At that point, you would um, log in, and I do want to show you the login page, so I'm just going to go into my page here, and you just want to enter in your username and password. One of the newest features um, on here is forgot password, so before when you forgot your password, you would have to contact um, the Shortcuts Help Desk and um, get your password. Now that isn't the case, we have the forget password. This is also great because now your employees, if they've forgotten their password, they don't need to come to you either. Um, they can just click on that forgot password and it will go ahead and email them their um, password. So your username is probably your email address. This one is a little bit um, different because um, that's not my email address. My email address has a dot in it, but for demonstration purposes, purposes, it's just going to be that one. And then um, my password. Okay, so then we're going to just go ahead and log in. And hopefully you're all familiar with this console. Um, we have the different tiles here that show us each aspect of the smart system. Um, we have Spotlight anywhere. We have some settings. We have the Book Me settings, Set and Forget, Client information card, scorecard, and this one that's all grayed out is Gift Me. A lot of you um, may or may not be familiar with Gift Me, but that is our online gift card system so that you're able to track gift cards online. Um, so if you're at home and you want to see your sales, you just log in here and you're able to see your gift card sales for that period. Um, here I'm going to go into our company settings. And then I just want to kind of review some of these company settings. You have your logo, so it's really important that you're branding um, your online booking site. Um, you have your company name, so what you're called. We're looking at awesome cuts here. And then we have our themes here as well. Um, if I click on that drop dropdown, um, there are a number of different themes that you can choose from. Um, some of the newer ones are here at the bottom of the screen, and I just want to um, show you what some of those are. I noticed that some of our clients are still on kind of the older ones, so I like to share um, <laughs> those new ones as often as I can. So I'm just going to go back in here, and I'm going to go in here, and these are some of the newer ones that you can choose from. Um, Sunset Red, Midnight Black, Pink Lily, Relax, Stones, Workout. Happy Kids for our kids' salons, um, black wallpaper. 
we have gray gradient and white gradient, which is really nice for, you know, if, if some of these other ones aren't working out for you, probably the gray gradient or the white gradient will work for you. We have the sophisticated man, fresh face, and then a couple of really fun ones like the colorful hair where she has her feathers and then boho girl. Um, so you have all of these that you are able to choose from. Um, one of the other things that you can do if none of these suit you, we also do custom um, book me templates and you would just want to contact your um, business development representative and they can help you kind of um, walk you through how to get your customized um, templates there. One thing I do want to mention while we are looking at these templates is you do want to make sure that your online booking link is on your Facebook page. If it's not on your Facebook page, feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to send you the directions and even walk you through posting that on your Facebook page. Okay. So now I just want to go back into my console. And some of the other settings here are, are kind of the settings that you're probably familiar with. Um, the Google Global Settings, this has to do with Google Analytics and if you track the information on your um, website, you have that information here. And then you have the page content. So it's just really important to kind of review some of these. Um, occasionally walk through your online booking. Make sure that it's clear that um, how your clients are going to um, book when they log into your online booking site. So a lot of this information hasn't changed in this section, but you just want to kind of verify that, you know, the information is still um, accurate for your business. Over here on the right hand side, I can manage my users. So the manage users section is um, a great opportunity to um, make sure that all of your users in, are in here. And at the bottom here, I do have an add new user. So at this point, I can create a new user and it's giving me a couple different options. Now this is new where I can create a new user not associated with the point of sale employees. So, um, if, there is a, if there is maybe someone that doesn't use the point of sale, um, your shortcuts program, you can actually create them as a user here. Or we can create a new user that is a point of sale employee. I just want to create a new user that is a point of sale employee. And then you'll see that I can attach it to that particular employee here. So here I can do, okay, well, I'm just going to attach to Destiny and I can attach it and then I can continue. So what that does is I can um, put in the email address for Destiny and then here at the bottom I can create this company role. So this section is also very new. Um, this is what we're going to be releasing in the next couple weeks. Um, I can tell that she is um, a company manager. I can say that she's a booking hub operator so if you have multiple locations you may want to investigate booking head for shortcuts um, and you'll be able to access all of your computers all at one location. Down at the bottom, the site roles, we have the site. So I'm connecting her to Awesome Cuts and then I'm linking the employee to Destiny. Now I can say what kind of employee is she? Is she a site manager? Does she need CIC access? So does she need that client information card access? Or is she just an employee? So if she's just an employee, that will give her the access to anywhere. And anywhere will allow her to see her schedule from anywhere she is. So on her mobile device, on her PC, um, that kind of thing. Now, another new option here is add sites. So for our um, salons out there that have more than one location, this question came up a lot how do I connect an employee to both locations? And before we had to um, have two different email addresses, where well, now we can actually just connect them to both locations here. So I'm able to say I can add a site and then they can have um, um, that anywhere access to that other location, which this one is definitely what I'm very excited about. Um, I know a lot of clients out there that you know came up with other email addresses or had their staff make up email addresses just so this could work and now it does. Super exciting. You always want to make sure that when you make the changes that you save and when you save it's automatically going to email that staff member their login information along with what you set up as their um, username. 
So it's a lot of great um, ways to get your staff members connected so they can be, you know, um, keep track of their schedule and that kind of thing. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back to the home screen. Um, so that is kind of looking at those company settings and setting up your staff for anywhere and also being able to view your client information card. Uh, the next box here is your site settings. So you do want to go into your site settings just to verify that your information is correct. So your site name and then your email address and then of course your, your physical address as well. Okay. Over here on the right, we do have a, we are going to be having a new option that's called your sync agent password. So um, before this was only accessible through the book me page, now your password's accessible here as well. Now this isn't your login password, this is actually your password for the um, shortcut syncing agent. So um, this one, uh, your educator usually sets up for you, so you don't really have to go into it too often if um, you need to go into it at all. So then you have that seek agent password. You can also manage your users from this location as well. So if you wanted to click on there, you're able to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the home screen. From this home screen, we have, um, we have the book me settings. And in the book me settings, we have kind of all of the things that we looked at before, where we have um, your ID and site group. This is also the area that you can just kind of review your options for your online booking page. So this is saying the earliest booking allowed is two days from today. Um, the latest booking allowed is 120 days. So you're able to make these adjustments really anywhere. Okay. Um, it looks like I have a question, so I'm just going to look at it really quick. Um, setting giving employee. Um, it looks like I need a little bit more clarification on the e on the question. Um, let's see. What information is the employee setting giving the employee? Yeah, um, if you could just. Um, maybe rephrase that. I'm not sure what the question is. So um, that would be awesome if you could do that. Okay. Um, if I kind of scroll down here um, through all of these settings, um, we have some new settings down here at the bottom. So um, previously, this display service duration booking confirmation and email, this um, used to only um, adjust the confirmation email and now it's not going to display the duration on the confirmation screen as well. So if you have some um, services that you don't want to show how long the services are on the online booking, um, now it's not going to show that on the confirmation screen, which is awesome. And then another very exciting new feature that we have is the employee selection type. Now I have a lot of um, salons um, that say, oh, I don't have any males in my salon, um, so I don't want the option for male or female in the drop-down for online booking. So now you can unselect the male and female and just have booking with any staff member, um, and then of course showing all of the individuals. I also have some schools that don't want their um, students to be able to be booked specifically online, so no requests. Um, so now they're able to uncheck the individual um, checkbox and only have any male or female. So this portion here is definitely going to help um, with the online booking so that um, you can really modify who's available for online booking and that kind of thing. So I'm super excited for um, this option here. Over on the right hand side, um, there is, of course, the sync agent password. Um, and then we have display book me bookings. This is, a, this is going to be a new feature where you're able to um, display your book me booking so you can see who booked during a period. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on display book me bookings. It will ask for a date range 
I'm just going to go back a few months so that I'm able to see um, a good date range. And then from here, I'm just going to do kind of a wide range here. And then I'm going to pull up that information. So here I'm able to see what date the booking was done, when the appointment was made, the client's first and last name, and then um, what service was booked and the booking price. So this will give you more control over your, um, your um, booking. So during this period, 56 people booked online, a total of 38.55. Um, so this is a great tool so you can kind of do a range of um, your bookings. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to home. And we're going to take a look at that client information card. So um, this, this site that I'm on is actually not connected, so I'm just going to go back to our PowerPoint here. And then back onto here. So the client information card, when you click on that, the first screen that you'll see is a pin pad. Um, the pin pad, you just want to put in your pin number for shortcuts. So it's important that all of your employees have PIN numbers in shortcuts in order to access the client information card. And then setting them up as a user is also important because you want to attach them to um, that particular user. Um, when you log in, you'll see your client search screen. And then you see where it says test one, Patel. This um, particular client is the only client on the appointment book for the day. So if you had more clients on your appointment book for the day, it will all show up here. You have add a new client, so you're able to add new clients to the screen. So maybe that uh, a client's not getting their hair done quite yet, but you want to add them to your shortcuts database, you can add a new client here. Um, a new feature that is going to be coming is the last visit. So before I would just show the time of the appointment and the duration along with what service they're getting done. Um, but now it's going to be showing um, their last visit. Over here on the right hand side, you're able to hand um, the client the information. So if you have an iPad or a tablet and you want your client to um, update their information, um, you can hand them that and they'll be able to hand them um, update their information. Um, handing it to the client will not allow them to go back to the previous screen. If you're just editing the client's information, you can click the Edit Client screen, and using that, it will allow you to go back to um, this screen here. So looking at the client information card, um, you can see all of the information that um, you want to gather about a particular client. This information is customizable, um, and it looks solely on you, what information you put um, in shortcuts. So, if I go into shortcuts here, we have on the right hand side, we're going to go into configuration and then general and then clients. Ticking on the new client layout will allow you to see quick, detailed, and mandatory. So in the example that I have here, you have some options for quick. Now, what quick will do is it allows you when you're putting in a client for the first time. So um, what information do you get when you're on the phone with them? Probably first name, probably last name, at least one phone number. This is checked down here for at least one phone number. Um, email address, gender, these ones aren't mandatory. Okay. The detailed card information, this is what the online CIC will add. So from here, you can say, okay, on that online CIC, I want the first name, the last name, their address information, phone number. I also want their title, email, and gender on that customized um, CIC. That way, you're getting all of the information that's um, important to you as the business owner. Um, you also have the mandatory. So when you hand them the card, it'll be what's mandatory and what's not. Okay. So I'm just going to go back into shortcuts. So it's really important to kind of gather that information for that client information card. With scorecard, not a whole lot has been updated in scorecard. 
But I will tell you that um, up here along these tiles here, um, we have the thumbs up and the thumbs down. So this information here um, is a little bit more exact and the tolerance levels um, have been kind of adjusted. So now if the store is low performing, um, a negative 5%, it's going to be thumbs down. So it's going to look at that 5% now. So with no change, so it'll be orange, um, it'll be you know within that 5%. And then if it's good, if you've gone up, it's going to be um, greater than 5%. So these are going to be a little bit more um, easy to understand. I'm going to go back to start. And then looking at Spotlight. Okay, um, here we have our net promoter score is now on the tile. So you're able to view that score a little bit um, more easily. So as I'm looking at this, if you have more than one location, um, your net promoter score is going to be on all of those locations. Okay, um, the Spotlight, um, the ratings calculation, so your stars, which they're not showing up on my example here, but um, it's only going to show um, the last six months. So it overall star rating is going to just look at that six months. And then as far as um, your Facebook postings, when you decide to post it onto um, Facebook and share it, when you click on it, it's no longer going to direct them to their online booking site. And I know that a couple of you have asked for that, and we, um, we took care of that for you. Okay. So those are kind of a quick review of some of the, the features that are, you know, part of the SMART um, system, um, and kind of a quick review and introducing some new features that are coming um, in the next couple of weeks or so. I'm pretty excited about some of those. So just kind of as a review, we reviewed the Shortcuts console. We looked at some of your Book Me settings and I showed you some new ones. Um, I showed you a couple of um, Spotlight enhancements. Um, as far as your scorecard numbers, you know now what the difference between a thumbs up or a sideways thumb and a thumbs down means. Um, and you can access your client information card and see some information there. Pretty excited about that. Our next webinars that are coming up um, on August 21st is Attracting and Retaining Great Employees Online. And that's going to be with Debbie Miller. Um, September 4th, uh, we're going to be looking at the new inventory features within Shortcuts. So a lot of great um, new features are available to you currently. And we're just going to kind of do a, a nice little review of that with Angel. And then on September 16th, I'm going to show you how to set up um, promotions within Shortcuts. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can contact me at meg.shortcuts.net. Um, you can also post some questions on our um, Facebook page. And then, of course, um, visit itsuitsyou.shortcuts.net and um, take a look at our blog and other information for great business um, support. I want to thank you. Um, for the person that did ask the question, I will reach out to you um, to discuss um, your question with you. Um, if you have any other questions, you can also ask. Um, otherwise, that's all I have for you today. And I'm really excited for the new um, items that are going to be coming your way soon. Thank you so much.